Hey guys, here's another update on the uh, quick shifter. Uh, so far we've done the quick shifter unit. This is the original one. This is not the one on the motorcycle. Uh, we also did the uh, GPS or gear positioning indicator. This is these are the extra boards that I have left over. And now we want to uh, uh, hold on. Uh, we want to be able to uh, rev the engine uh, when we want to downshift. So, so far we're able we're able to shift uh, without releasing the throttle or pulling the clutch. Uh, but now we want to do the reverse. We want to downshift quickly without having to rev the engine. So we're gonna make something to rev the engine for us as we're trying to downshift. We're gonna install. Uh, this actu actuator on the motorcycle and we're going to build a simple bridge or H bridge uh, to drive it. We want to be able to push to accelerate and bring it back just so it doesn't get stuck. So we'll do a, uh, just uh, like 50 milliseconds and bring it back. Um, it's going to be adjustable. Uh, it will be controlled by the unit. It will have its own processor as well. It's gonna be running on a on a, a tiny 85, and I am gonna be using a couple of half H bridge uh, chips, and I'll show you what those are. And you can see it's pretty simple. It's just, uh, and I'll also show you the schematic as well. So, but let me show you how it works. So, uh, this button here would be the equivalent of me sending a signal back into my processor. So when I press it, you can see. It's a maximum of one second, a little over a second, and then it stops. So even if I keep sending the signal, not, nothing happens after that. So it's just, there's no power to it, unless I press it again, right? And if I just press it, you know, you, we can downshift really quickly, or just keep it out, and then it stops. So in case we lock it out, uh, it will release it. Uh, so the reason I'm doing this on unit with some processor is because I want to be able to debug it and I want to make sure that this thing does not get stuck because you don't want the the engine revving and getting stuck uh, when you're trying to stop the motorcycle so I want to make sure that this thing is solid so when I pull my signal through there won't be any issues so I can add and change the code on the main unit without having to be concerned with how this thing works so uh, let me show you the the actual uh, connectors how they connect how they are connected for the H H bridge. <clears throat> so you can see this is what I have. This is the so this would be the single unit. Uh, where is it? So that's a single unit. It's two connectors, or uh, a P channel and an N channel at the bottom. And I just have it twice and we are going to be driving it with a single pin on each side so the idea here is that if we put a signal through here then this will turn on and this will turn off let me uh get a let's see this right here so if I put a signal through here and nothing on the other side that means that we are going to have power going this way. We're going to this way and this way. Right? And if we do it on the other end, then we're going to have it coming through here like this. So w by having this, we are able to send either a voltage through this end and ground through this one or vice versa. Uh, pretty much uh, reversing the the direction of the motor so we can push out or pull it back in uh, without any issues and um, you know it's, it's just a pretty simple so we have a half H uh, bridge we have a, an end channel uh, transistor here for driving it and in the middle uh, we just have a diode on each one just to get rid of the voltage spike to send it right back into voltage we have two capacitors, a small one to uh, just to smooth it out and a big one to capture the spike. 
<coughs> and the same on the other end we have the two connectors that are going out for driving <coughs> uh, for driving the uh, the actuator is running on an A-Tiny or at tiny 85 and these are the two pins I'm going to be using for driving it and number six is going to be my signal coming in and this is just my regulator and my header for programming the unit <coughs> um, I don't have the schematic yet so that will be next video of having this and having the actual build uh, the code itself is, is pretty small, that's the entire code, just one page, there's nothing on top, nothing on the bottom. Uh, it's going to be running at 8 megahertz on 5 volts, and uh, all I'm doing is, um, this is the this is the function checking to see if I'm getting a signal in telling me to rev the engine. Uh, this is just setting my two outputs. Uh, my two output pins for driving uh, the actuator and obviously I start with both of them at zero I don't want to be pushing or pulling anything and I have a maximum weight or rev a maximum rev of one second or one thousand milliseconds uh, give or take you know it's not very accurate but that, that's what we're getting we don't want to rev it for more than one second even half a second would be a little bit too much uh, so the code goes as follows if I'm revving or if I'm getting a signal to rev then I enable one of the side of the H bridge and then wait while I'm still revving it or while my counter is less than my maximum allowed to rev and then I keep increasing, I keep waiting for one millisecond at a time and check again. Once I'm out, I reverse the signal. I want to pull the actuator back in, wait 50 milliseconds, and then set both of them to off. And then just wait there if I'm still revving. So this is just in case uh, something goes wrong and it gets stuck, it, it won't fire again. It'll just be there. Nothing will happen, which is what we want. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. It's pretty simple. You know, it's just an actuator. You can get those on Amazon or eBay for about ten bucks. And oh yeah, gotta show you the uh, the unit. Here we go. Where did it go? So this is what I'm using. Uh, you can see this one has a, a continuous current uh, of, since we're going to be driving it at 5 volts, uh, it's going to be a 7.9 max. And for this actuator we need uh, 3.5 amps, so it is plenty. Uh, it won't overheat, it won't burn, I tested this a while, for a while and I've been running this on my previous motorcycles uh, for years so that shouldn't be an issue this is what I have this is the dual uh, or half bridge that we have uh, a p-channel MOSFET and an n-channel MOSFET and you can see that uh, the the drains are on the same side so you can just connect all of them together and then we have the driving pins and the gates or the source and the gates on each side so uh, the you can see that the source and the gate for the N channel is at the top and the P channel is at the bottom. So that's all I have. Enjoy. <laughs>